Hi lovelies, it's me, Simply Sherry, helping you make home and entertaining simple. This is the second video of my fridge organization for summer 2018. So if you want to see the first part, which shows how I've organized the door of my fridge, please check out the iCards above. I'll also put in the description box below any of the items that I use for my fridge organization that I think would be helpful for you. So this is the inside of the fridge. As I mentioned in my last video, this fridge is 14 years old. It's a side-by-side -side Kenmore. Now what I've loved is putting in the shelf liner. I did that, gosh, I think about a year ago and that's made all the difference. But it's pretty much the same. So I have eggs here. This is an inter-design, I think, egg container or egg holder that you can get almost anywhere like Ross, Home Goods, Amazon, the container store. Same thing with this egg holder, it's ceramic. You could get it at all those type of different stores. So these are the raw eggs and then these are the hard boiled eggs. I have the big bread here and my husband likes Ezekiel bread with cinnamon raisin. I have a couple tortillas here. It's the same thing I've always been doing like for a couple years already. These are wide mouth mason jars. So this is spinach and kale. We use that a lot for salads and for smoothies during the summer it's a lot more of smoothies here are extra strawberries from these snacks that i had made there and we can also use this for milkshakes smoothies and also salad back here is the extra grapes putting fruit in the mason jar i think has been a lot better than putting them in regular plastic containers. Now, of course, if they are glass containers, they would be fine also. I just like using the mason jars because it's more vertical versus the other ones that are rectangular and shorter, and it's not always easy to stack them. So I found that the mason jars have the right height for the shelves that I have. This one is Rubbermaid. It's one of those that are supposed to keep the fruit and the vegetables better. Um, basically, it's a vegetable keeper, and I just cut up some watermelon because watermelon is completely on sale right and just cut it up and put it there and it has that green thing underneath that keeps um, the moisture up from you know the vegetables and the lettuce and the fruit and back here are some more mason jars with the red grapes that I have over here for the fruit snacks. My deli and cheese drawer. So I keep cheese in this slim plastic container that I got from the container store a few years ago. It's still there. This is the brand, it's called Keeper. And I like it because of the size of the container. It's slim, just like the package. So you can see I could fit two of them in there. And this is actually a bacon keeper. You can get this in different places. I have this plastic photo case container where I have these baby bell there and just looks like that. This I got on Amazon and we always have a bunch of butter because my daughter likes to bake. So when you open it up, it stays open like that and I just love how it fits the butter in there perfectly. So a difference even with organizing the fridge for the summer versus during the school year is I have three of these and I keep the deli, the lettuce, and then the cheese, one in each container. And I usually have it up here and I take all three containers, put it on the counter when it's time to make sandwiches. So for the summer, I'm not making sandwiches. So all I need is this one for the cheese. So that's why I'm saying you organize according to what your lifestyle is at that moment. If you change diets, if there's another person staying with you, if one person leaves, you know, that's, you want to make your organization, especially with your fridge, because it's used all the time, to work for you. Okay, this shelf is for leftovers. So I have this reusable Ziploc that I got from Amazon. And see, we have some breakfast sausages there. See, here's another container, just like that one that holds cheese, but this is holding leftover pizza. And then for the next shelf, again, I have another one of those Rubbermaid veggie keepers and I have baby bok choy in there. So this shelf is stuff that I'm using to make dinner. This container with the handle is stuff that I used to cook for my son. He doesn't eat dairy or meat, so I like to try to keep that separate so that I know there's stuff or ingredients for the things that I want to make for him. So it's really easy to pull out like that. That's the great thing with these containers that have a handle. 
Here's some corn because I had made him ramen. Corn, some baby corn mushrooms, tofu. If these two drawers don't move. They have to go exactly in that spot. These are for the veggies. The bottom drawer is for jars because since this is an older fridge, it doesn't work as well as it used to. If I put like meat or veggies, there it's too um, cold and they kind of freeze, but the things in bottles have worked out. Here, I try to take them out of the plastic. I used to have the shelf liner here, but it was always getting messed up. So now I just had taken it out and I just used a towel there. Here are some more reusable Ziplocs. This one has cilantro and then I just put a paper towel around it so it won't be too wet. This one has parsley. And here you can see the other veggies that I have. This is a yellow onion. When I don't use all of it, I use foil to wrap it. This is a red onion, again wrapped. And then here's a, a smaller onion. Here's a bell pepper. I'll show you, I have this divider here you know you have this for like the office so you can even use it for the bathroom I think this was from Target but look how perfectly it fits in the drawer and then you can separate the different veggies like that okay this one is also for the kitchen drawers for like utensils but I use it in here so that I can separate more veggies like that instead of it being one whole big drawer I'm separating the drawers for those veggies and it's holding some of the leftover grape tomatoes there and it fit perfectly in this space right there. See how, how nicely it fit? Perfect. So when you're thinking of drawers, whether it's in the kitchen or the bathroom or in your bedroom, these drawer dividers work anywhere as long as you want to make the space within the larger drawer more categorized. And I like it because you can see everything all at once. So the final drawer, jars, basically jars that I use for Asian cooking. This one is the Korean chili paste. Here's another three compartment divider. These also are from like the office section that helps separate these two bottles because if all these bottles were just like in the drawer. They would be all over the place when you're opening and closing it. Here's some ginger chopped minced garlic that's Filipino this is like a shrimp paste bagoong Filipino but you can see how I'm using those dividers to separate these jars all right that's the second video of my fridge organization for summer 2018 please make sure to check out the iCards for other decluttering and organizing videos and if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button I'd love to have you on this journey with me to making home and entertaining simple. Please leave a comment below and let me know if you've done something different as far as organizing your fridge for the summer and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!